We kicked off 2014 with a murder investigation, which all started with this mugshot of Susan Monica and word from the Jackson County Sheriff's Office about a lead on a missing man. That turned into a double murder investigation when human remains were found. Detectives spent weeks searching her property. This was the scene from above, tarps, equipment, and deep holes in her land. We talked with Monica as she sat in the Jackson County Jail. She told us how both murders went down, calling the first one, a shot in the head to Stephen Delcino in August of 2012, accidental. She says she didn't know what to do after that. Shotgun, boom, boom. Oh, out my probably like now. I don't see. Who sees? I don't know. I listen. I sit inside my room. <gasps> I say, oh my goodness. Spare me. Second victim, Robert Haney, investigators say was killed around September of 2013. Monica says she has no idea how he ended up dead. I would like the people of Rogue River to donate a small amount of money so that I can have my kids butchered and the, the meat given to the uh, Rogue River Community Center. Currently, Susan Monica is still in jail, charged with two counts of murder and two more charges of abuse of a corpse. A murder in November shocked a Central Point neighborhood. Jackson County Sheriff's deputies say Wade Phillips shot his 37-year-old wife, Cynthia, in front of their children. Law enforcement scoured the area around the home looking for Phillips, even sending up a helicopter. <laughs> Turns out he was in the attic the entire time. Right now, Phillips is in the Jackson County Jail, charged with murder and three counts of attempted murder. That same month, the murder on a popular walking path in Klamath County, the suspect still at large. 39-year-old Tyler Nelson shot multiple times and killed. Investigators say it happened on the OC&E trail. This homicide investigation made 11 for the Klamath County District Attorney's Office, several of those happening in the last year. Two officer-involved shootings in Klamath County this year, the first in August. Deputy Jason Weber shot in the face during a traffic stop on Bisbee Street. Two suspects in the car took off and a massive manhunt began. William Parkerson and Carrie Pasco were eventually found in Chiloquin. They're currently in jail facing murder charges. Deputy Weber had the bullet removed from his head. Doctors put in titanium plates in his face. After more surgeries and months of recovery, Klamath County Sheriff says he's doing well. The suspect was the initial shooter at us. He actually fired a shotgun. I don't know how many rounds just yet. He fired at least one shotgun round, maybe two. That same month, an officer involved shooting in Medford. Police were called out to a neighborhood in West Medford after people called 911 reporting a man carrying a shotgun and acting strange. Officers told him to drop his weapon. He shot at police. Police shot back, killing Stephen McMillan. Four officers were on paid administrative leave. Their actions in the shooting were considered justified. The second officer involved shooting in Klamath County was in November after a robbery turned deadly. Klamath County Sheriff's Office, Klamath Falls Police Department and OSP chased a robbery suspect who fled with cash stolen from the Frontier Market in Klamath Falls. Officers went after Lenny Miles. Shots were fired from both parties. Miles was transported to Sky Lakes Medical Center where he was later pronounced dead. In December, a grand jury decided the three officers involved were justified in shooting Miles. In April, we were following the Borne Huddleston murder trial. Medford man was accused of hiring a hitman to kill his wife, Christy, but police say he killed her. Several people took the stand, including the couple's son, who was 10 years old at the time and who found his mother. Many different elements during the trial, detectives testifying, they found a silencer in Huddleston's garage, also the 911 call. Yeah, yeah, okay. Starting to roll. Please help. The trial lasted a week. Jury deliberated for more than a day. They found Huddleston guilty of murder and all 10 counts against him. He was sentenced to life in prison. A police chase and a shootout in March got the attention of one Medford neighborhood. Wayne Pearson and Siobhan Willard were expected in court in Bonneville County but never showed. Medford police got word they could be in southern Oregon. Police spotted their pickup at Motel 6 in Medford and the chase was on. Pearson tried to get away which led to a crash and shooting on Hilton Road. Officers involved were cleared. Willard was sentenced to five years in prison for felony possession of drugs in Idaho. In December, Pearson pleaded no contest to several charges. A manhunt in Josephine County was our top story for several days in July. After several months of searching, Oregon State Police finally caught up with Daniel Martinson. He was accused of stabbing to death Aaron Klauser in a Cave Junction neighborhood in November 2013. Search for Martinson narrowed in July when witnesses spotted him in several locations in Josephine County. 
They saw him walking from a local food bank and eventually arrested him.